Hello guys, just gonna sit here and play some Resident Evil 2, if that's okay with you. Um, for now I think I'm gonna just use my handgun for most of my troubles. Claire's a little injured, but I think she'll get by. I hope I don't have to encounter anything that absolutely requires anything worse than handgun to, to handle. It's not like I have a lot of shotgun ammo to begin with. She kinda... Holy shit, she actually is trying to get upstairs. I mean, good for her. Good for her to step... Okay. Is there any way I can like... Okay. There appears to be no real easy way to dodge this. She's gonna come after me no matter what. Asshole. Of course, that also attracts him. Wonderful. But at least he has the decency to blow up. What is wrong with you, lady? I'm not a. I'm not in. Oh shit! You just fucking see that? That was crazy. That's it. You and I are done. Like forever. I don't even have a secondary weapon. Did you see how fast she climbed those stairs? That was crazy. I, I gotta go back for some more. You know what? I'm just gonna use this and go back for something else. Wow, this episode started out like fire. At least that guy's not coming in. At least I don't think so. I don't think he can get through the barrier. I could be proven wrong though. Uh, let's take a mixed herb. That went really terribly. But at least we won't have to worry about those two anymore. Oh, the lady's gone. The lady's gone again. Of course. Um, there's still the problem of this, but we'll worry about that in due time. For now, let's actually get somewhere. <laughs> oh. No, you're not going to do that to me. Anything in the shower? Maybe Claire could use a shower. But not with that creep just sitting there. Yeah, I knew something was going to happen. As long as you're not standing up or... Okay, I think he's out. Probably just had too much to drink. I mean, this is a police station. You get all walks of life in here. That is something you do not want to approach yet. Okay, maybe I should have brought a shotgun. In hindsight, shotgun seems like a really sweet idea. 
This guy did not make it out. He almost made it to the women's locker room. By the way, what kind of screwed up geography are we seeing here? Like, you have to go to the ladies' shower room in order to get to both sides of the police station. What the hell? We're, gonna, we're, we're aiming for this door here that, as the previous note has indicated, we, you cannot make too much noise in front of a liquor. You gotta go slow. Okay, you gotta like really freaking chill. Let's just take a moment to admire the design of this thing. Like there's this there's a sense of elegance to it. A perverted sense of beauty. Okay, I think I am starting to get umbrella. Luckily I don't think you can get into this room. And we have more shotgun ammo. Is that even what it is? It's a flame round. Oh yeah, that's for the the the, the, the grenade launcher. Oh, we have some darts here. Maybe we could use the darts to kick the a kick the liquor's ass. That's a possibility. Hmm. We need to put something in the computer. What's in here? By the way, this is the star's office. This is the office of the, the whole team from Resident Evil 1. Claire, Chris, Wesker. And somebody has a guitar here. Made in heaven. Is that supposed to be Chris's shirt? Like when we are thinking about stars, it's always like they're superheroes. Given just how great people hold them in, in such a high esteem. Like even the nemesis is like just the most exclusively searching for stars but looking at the office it's like they ha they are normal human beings internal memo uh september 22nd 1998 office supply internal relocation notice heat resistant three number combination safe moved to moved from stars office to west office first floor okay the combo is left nine right 15 left seven please change the combo asap upon receipt RPD facility maintenance department. The west office. Okay, we got a combination for one of the safes. The west office is below us. I think I remember where that is. I'm still a little reluctant to make too much noise here. I don't know if I'm being paranoid. That thing I definitely want, but I can I can have it. Oh, I can just combine with this one. Okay, time to head out. And I'm really not looking forward to heading out. Can I play some darts? You know, I missed the dart thing in The Last of Us. It, there's definitely a way to trigger that, that whole thing with the kids. Ellie and Sam playing darts in the house, but uh, for some reason it just didn't happen for me. I missed a lot of things in The Last of Us that I knew was there, but I just couldn't get get it happening. Ooh, there's a tough way to go. Where the hell is the thing? Where'd it go? I don't like seeing it, but I but I hate it even more when I don't see it. Well, I can still freaking hear it. This is like super unnerving. It's around the okay. Mm. Slowly back away. Slowly back. Just back away. Back away. 
No need to panic. He's uh, he's not hearing me. He doesn't know I'm here. He it's, uh, just need him for him to get up on the wall again. Good. He's on a wall, which means I can sneak past him, just like that. As long as he doesn't jump on me, that's good. That's good, Claire. You're doing good. Let's just slowly turn around because I still want to be able to see him. Fuck! He's so freaking close. He's crawling towards me without knowing it. I'm backing away. I'm around the corner. How freaking far away is that door? Uh, oh, there's another door here. Let's set. Uh, oh, it's a door that I can't open yet. There's a symbol on the door. And yes, let's open the lock, close the door, turn around, and shut the freaking thing. Okay. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a liquor. I almost said clicker. I have a hard time deciding which one I'm frightened of more. Oh, I got a compliment map. That's good. Uh, we already have this one. Ooh, I don't think we can have any more of this. Nope, it's just gonna have to stay here. Just for now. So everybody in this room is dead, right? That's how I left it. That's how I like it. I remember they're piled all over each other, but well, I guess not everything stays the same all the time. So uh, we're gonna have to find a way to get this. Um. I think this needs to be done sooner or later, so I'm, I'd rather just do it sooner. In case I have to do it later under duress or something. So we definitely need something to move this away. Who put that there in the first place anyway? Okay, back to the station. Marvin is still there. That's good. Now, where can I go? What can I do? Hang on, Marvin. I'm coming back for you. So I I think a lot of you would remember that if you were playing the original Resident Evil 2, this is where you see the liquor for the first time. And it is in this corridor where you meet him for the first time. I... I I'm not an expert on the original game, but I remember that pretty well. Oh. Hey, you. Oh, I was gonna board the window. Shit. What the hell is up with you? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> by him. I do want to get him out of the way. Oh 
Okay. Oh no. You have my attention now. Seriously, what the fuck? There are more than I thought there would be. Let's just leave it at that. This is probably really frustrating to watch, but trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. Seriously. Okay. That was like a phase. Let's board this up, shall we? We don't want any more crawling in here. I don't know if that's still possible. But I'm just gonna go out on a win and say it's possible. This room is locked by a special key. I mean, by a special lock that requires a special key. Now that is a liquor mark. Mother. F You know what I would say, for people who are already dead and all rigid and all that, they get up from the floor really smoothly. I'm almost out of ammo, I gotta go. I can't stay behind them and tangle. And... Yep. Are you kidding me? This is like really seriously bad. Hey, uh, we can open this door now. Where's... Oh, it's a new room. We got electronic gadget. Also, we no longer need the cutting tool. If you're kind of bad letting it go like that, it's it's been a great help. Uh, locker room. Okay, we need that. Combine. Thank you. I desperately need more ammo, but flashing light is also welcome. You can never have too many boards. Yeah, that's all we got. Okay. Uh, we still cannot have access to the records room. It's another special lock. But this is not. I'm gonna go back to grab some big guns. Wow, that was a rough run. You can't deny that. Uh, so I'm gonna stock one here. What is the battery for anyway? Oh, you know what? Battery is probably for this. A detonator. A detonator for C4 explosives. And, uh, we remember where we saw C4 last time, don't we? So, take the flame rounds. I think maybe nine frame flame rounds is enough to go by for the moment. Yeah, it's gotta be enough. I'm I will still be taking the You know what let's uh save at two slots at a time. I st I would still try to I would still take the handgun with me just because I think their ammo sh its ammo should be more prevalent. Switch ammo. Do 
Do I really have different types of ammo here? I do. Um, maybe that's a little excessive. Just saying. What am I using? I don't think we're gonna need that kind of ammo yet, so I'm gonna store the acid rounds and then turn the flame and uh, bring the flame rounds with me. Oh, by the way, what am I doing? I, I don't need. There's something I gotta do. Where is the west office? Over there. Is everybody properly dead? I hope you are. Now, show me the thing again. Left 9, right 15, left 7. Um, how do we do this? Left 9. Right, 15. Oh, shit. Did I press... Okay, let's do this again. Left, 9. Right, 15. Left, 7. Is this how you do it? Yep. Wait. No, that was wrong. Um, maybe it means go this way. Left, 9. Right, 15. Left, 7. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was worried about something taking up my inventory space. Turns out, no need to worry. Okay, let's get upstairs. What are you looking at? You're trapped there. I could go to the star's office again to grab some stuff, but that would require me to confront the liquor again. I don't know if I'm brave enough for that. Then again, I'm not sure what's going what's waiting me here. That fucking statue, man. So I still have no idea of this combination. Or the one downstairs. I don't know any combination. That's the thing. Is it tr asking me to check out any files? For what? Okay, this is gonna be a loud bang. It's going to attract attention. So prepare to act. In seconds, let's take cover. Ready or not, here I come! Is that a fucking liquor sound? You know what? I can't really worry about it. Wh wh which is it? The goddess. Okay, goddess, goddess, goddess. Where's the office, no office notebook? Show me the goddess. Goddess is a, well, a lady, a bow and arrow, and a snake. That's just charming. Where is it? I hear it. 
It's not supposed to be able to see me, though. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this and go, if you don't mind very much. Oh, it's a little scorched. Oh, you rolled it, but that's okay. We can make it out, lady. Uh, where's the bow and it arrow? I think maybe this is it. The last one is a snake. Um, that's not it. I think this is it. Got it. We got a maiden medallion, so it's not a goddess, but what the heck. We got most of the things I need. <laughs> this is gonna get ugly. Oh shit! Got another round in right now. What the heck? I didn't bring my handgun? I specifically made a point about bringing the handgun. You know what? I don't have anything else to take from this room. So I'm just gonna be on my merry way. Oh. Sh of course. Mr. Zombie, you're gonna just politely watch me do this, okay? Don't disturb me. Whew. Back to this room. What do I what what else do I need to do? Well, uh, right now I should just go back to the front door and uh, activate the statue, but I kind of want to go back to Star's office for the first aid spray. Maybe next time, this is like not going to be the last time we see this place. And I really don't want to have to waste a, a, a grenade launcher ammo on that guy. I really don't want to do that. Give me the thingy and let's go. Hey Marvin. Marvin, we're leaving. Get up. Come on, let's go. Looks like it leads underground. Good, we can get out of this hellhole. Hey Marvin, guess what? I think I found a way out. Marvin, come on, let's get you out of here. Let's go. Are you okay? Uh, no, I just go. Save yourself. Come on, it's bad. We gotta get you to hospital. Please, now. Claire. We both know how this is going to end. Get out of the city. I can't just leave you here. Claire, please go. Do this for me. Okay. Hey, Marvin. Thank you.
So how do you activate the door again? Well, much as I hate to do that, we had to leave Marvin behind. And I think this is a just a mini police station. This came in just in time. I was kind of running out of handgun ammo. So I am going to bring this back. Uh, maybe we can store the boards now uh, because we, we are underground, so there shouldn't be any window to board. What else can we bring? What is the what is the red jewel for? I still don't think we need both types of runs with us all the time. That's just a little a little too much, I think. Uh, I'm gonna bring another herb just in case. There's it's probably gonna be bad. So we have, we're going into the second major landscape for this game. We're just temporarily leaving the police station. The police station is one hell of a, well, call it one level. It's one hell of a level. The level design is just spectacular. But don't be too sad to see it go, because it won't be the last time we see it. There are still things we need to get. There are still puzzles we need to solve and enemies we have to encounter so somebody was actually working here before everything went to shit. Uh, we can use the hand grenade. I will probably just use this as a defensive weapon. For the most part. Um, we don't have a key for this. Really? Whenever I see a tint of green, I, I, th I thought I would. I was looking at a herb. Wait, this just brings me back, doesn't it? Am I supposed to be able to... Uh-oh. 
That is never a good sign. What do we have here? I don't know. I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. You could have led with that. What? Okay, we are uh, you gotta be kidding me. probably in a bit of a boss fight here. I don't know, have you tried talking to it? Maybe it'll work. Well, it's got a huge eye on the shoulder. That's got to be a weakness or something. Kind of getting myself trapped in here. I just got to remind myself to keep reloading. Shit! How did I miss something this big? Hey, eyes up. Oh boy. Just trying to stay alive here. <laughs> I think hitting him hitting him more rapidly will work better just because his like shoulder eye will shit will be a, will be more exposed. I can't believe I'm saying shoulder eye. Like that is a normal thing to say. Well, I'm about to toast. He's tough. What are you doing? I'm I'm over here. And I'm stuck. I'm still at yellow. Yellow's good. Mister, 
You you need to get that eye looked at, okay? Oh crap. Oh god. Again, I am struggling whether I should just go full spoiler mode or not. Because I, I think most of you guys who watch this video will know the name of this guy. And what he's about, but I don't know if I should divulge it at this point. It's over. Are you sure? Yeah, I promise. Everything's fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you. I mean, that's sweet that we promised to look after a little girl and everything, but like... What if Claire said no? Like, is Sherry just supposed to not lower the ladder, leave us to die? Ooh, that's kind of a dark thought. Um, let, uh, let me just go grab the things I didn't get to grab because I was kind of fighting for my life back there. Just uh, grab some stuff. At least we got a, a, a lot of health items. So what was the problem before, kid? Like, were you really, tr were you even trying? So, what's your mom like? She works at Umbrella. She's Oops, red flag. Medicine. Umbrella? That big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. So, where's your dad? He, um, worked with my mom, but... Yes. He's gone. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? <laughs> wow. That's a struggle. So I'm gonna bring the acid rounds and uh, keep this here um yep that's about it we got some spare spaces now i'm not even used to that Here. 
Come on. Over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Slow the hell down, kid. It's closed. Um Yeah, it's closed. Like uh, I should stop being my sarcastic self. It's bit, uh, that's just one of my more cynical personalities it can be a kind of an asshole. Yep, uh, Sherry, you were absolutely correct. The door is closed. And it needs. Damn it. I need a key card. Come out. Hey, Joe and Ellie can do this. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl, leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground. Now. Sherry, tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? up. Tie her. Okay then. You tie her up now or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck that. Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now. Or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Go, yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! That's right, we'll get them. Stay safe, Sherry. Apparently that was such a bit slap, it didn't even change my health status. Okay, what did I just get? Okay, it's probably not a puzzle element, so it's not showing up in the inventory. We got two blue doors over here. Blue doors means, well, y you can go, you can go through them. Um, let's check this out. This one is already open. It looks very inviting. It's like nothing can possibly go wrong in here. Guy came from. Oh yeah. Well, then it must be safe. Raccoon Monthly June issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes! Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right, it's Police Chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and a stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Iris is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we are missed if we missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family, Chief Iris said with a soft smile. Ugh. What an asshole. That bastard is the police chief? Yeah. These things tend to happen from time to time. 
Okay, we got extended the map. There's a lot to explore here. Express elevator of the chief's office, not for general use. So we can't use it. And we can't open this door because it's uh, it requires some kind of heart-shaped key. People in Resident Evil have the weirdest stuff. Okay, if there's nothing here, I'm gonna go try the other room. Okay. Um, this is target practice. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. The key to patrol car seven four three nine. Details: bent key no longer usable, but can still open the car's doors in the trunk with its keyless entry buttons. Oh wait, is is this what it is? Why aren't we taking the box? Let's just open the box like a normal person. Okay, we got a well-worn key. As long as we can still use it. Hey Claire, do you uh, fancy a target practice? Nah, let's not waste the ammo like that. That'll just be stupid in the survival horror game. Call of Duty? Sure. Resident Evil? No. A message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, but that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous, so just don't do it. Anyway, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon, out. Yeah, that's one of the little collectibles in this game. You can find little Mr. Raccoon everywhere. You can shoot them or uh, cut him up with knives. Apparently, that's a... Uh, usually, I'm not too bothered with that kind of stuff. Well, mostly because there's no way I will be able to find them all. So, I just <laughs> end up not caring. Yeah, that's uh, one of them. No, let's do. Do I have my knife with me? No, so I, I I will not be wasting a bullet on that. So I guess these guys won't be joining me. That's all for the better. This door is obviously inaccessible yet. And this is completely blocked. So, oh, there's still one more place we can go and it's over this way. Oh! <gasps> AC rounds ready. I can hear that. I can hear it. Uh, it's bullshit. Oh, it's inside the room? Oh, man. Now that is just cruel. It's in the kernel. I don't think you can quite ignore this one. I think we have to take it out. Or at least by my standards, I will have to take it out. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. There's another one. First of all, we cannot take another hit. There's a grenade for you, Mr. Licker. Oh, the other one's not even dead! You gotta be shitting me. I... Take another health. Ooh. You gotta be dead. You just gotta be dead. No, no, there are no dogs in the Cornell, by the way. That's. I'm not sure that's a good thing. So, uh. That leaves me with uh, not a whole lot of health. Yellow to begin with, and no health replen replanted items. But some more ammo, which is always appreciated. So I think maybe that means flame round is more effective against the liquors than acid rounds. Did we just prove that? gonna need something to open this door and where would it lead to and it would lead to the generation room but for now let's check out the morgue oh don't you just want to check out the morgue autopsy record number whatever name of deceased Justin Hansen male Caucasian 39 years old uh, found dead in jail cell bed by staff hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis which should be coming to an end. It's highly likely that he died just after the lights out. Deceased was a known kleptomaniac, incarcerated multiple times. What does that mean, kleptomaniac? Well, what do you mean incarcerated multiple times? Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. So he probably has something on him that I can use. Is that what it's trying to tell me? I'm gonna start with this one just in case I need to get away fast this uh, I can do that relatively with little obstruction oh look at this guy I'm gonna get to the escape side of the if of him just get the oh yeah of course of course I'm being just you, you stay where you are grenade Ridiculous. Oh, did you see that shot? That was skill, baby. Not really. Yeah, let's just check out the rest of them. I do believe the worst is behind us. And yes, I said that out loud. I'm just tempting fate. She was kind of moving around, but... Okay, he has something for me. Any more? Is 
So I guess I just uh, re-killed Mr. Hansen and he stole the... What, what is it? The diamond key. Kudos to him. Oh! No. I will only tolerate these kind of cockroaches in Fallout, but no more. Okay, that's uh, everything in the morgue. Lovely place. Let's get the shit out of here. Why am I hearing noise again? I better make sure the thing is reloaded. I guess the liquor has killed all the dogs. So, thanks Mr. Liquor. Actually, both of them. Wait, another one? Seriously? Seriously? I'm, I'm switching to flame rounds for this one. Oh. Look what we got. Blue herb. Huh. A blue herb native to Arkley Mountain that can be used to remove toxins from your body. So that's consistent with the last game. We got herbs again, but I don't think this one is going to be any good for my health without the green herbs. Ugh. I'll just... Do I still need to come back here? I think so, but not exactly this part of So I'm just gonna try to sneak out. Oh sh... FUCK THIS! Uh... How do I switch around again? Why might... I'm totally freaking out. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Whew. That was really bad. I generally performed very poorly against these liquors. Oh, by the way, let's use this. There you are. What do you have for me? Please be something good. Oh, JMB HP3 is basically another type of handgun. That's cool. I like to like shoot around. And some more ammo. Wait, no, the same amount of ammo. I'm gonna get back down there and uh, patch myself up a little bit. Now I regret not going to the stars room to uh, grab the heal spray. I, I didn't do it because I didn't want to face the liquor and now look where it's got me. Oh, no need to bring this anymore. Bring every flame round with me from now on. You know what? Let's, um... Uh... Let's use this immediately. I'll save the blue herb because I don't know what I'm... <sighs> When that's going to be useful.
and I'll save the original handgun and uh, try the new one for size. So I got the diamond key. Not supposed to go this way. There you are. Open sesame. Oh, shoulder stock. Is it combinable with the grenade launcher? Yes, it is. It takes up another slot, but if it's more powerful than so be it. I guess Irons was eating this. That looks absolutely disgusting. How much did they have to smoke? That opened something. That opened. Oh, okay. Use the elevator now. <sighs> health, health, health. So, I'm above ground again. And look at that. Copy of emails of Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived at the mansion. Get rid of them if you must. WB. And WB is actually an old friend of us now. I, uh, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to do and everything will be alright. You are up to security... Uh, uh, you, are, you are to up to security around my lab. Your uh, muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on site. Doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're Umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. Okay. Another one. Get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever at once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. Okay, so their relationship is getting toxic. In other words, the steel is getting worse all the time. Submachine gun. Oh, I'm gonna get a submachine gun. Where does this go to? Hey there, you're not gonna come alive, are you? Because it's not above Resident Evil to force me to fight a tiger. I just don't think it's gonna be this one. Okay. Uh, save me some space, will ya? Thank God. 
key card. That's the key card. But I'm gonna have to do something about this. What are you looking at? Repair shop letter. From your description regarding the electronic lock on the door in the police chief's office, it sounds like something needs replacing. You will need some power panel parts to fix the issue. Fortunately, a repairman from one of our stores is at the station to repair the bell in the clock tower. We sent a few spare parts with him and he reported that he left one in the third floor east storage room. If something goes wrong or you need more than one, please don't hesitate to seek him out in the clock tower. We look forward to see serving you again. So let's get this straight. We need power panel parts and they're in the uh, east storage room in the clock tower. We gotta go to the clock tower. Relief. Well, that doesn't... Uh-oh! Look at that. Got another key. Isn't that nice? This is the hard key. So out of the three poker keys, we already... We used up one of them, and we have two of them with us. There's only one left. That is a charming picture. I've said this a lot during my playthroughs, but I have always held a fascination about art art objects found in video games. I mean, there was this dilapidated museum in The Last of Us. Uh, the Uncharted series is filled to the brim with them. So who makes them? Somebody has to make them on a computer and make them actually look like art. So I, I always wonder, like somebody actually has to draw a picture of this. So I often wonder, are these like real pictures that I just have to scan or maybe reproduce on a computer? Or does someone actually have to create uh, convincing art just to be com almost completely ignored in the video game backdrop? That's something I'm really fascinated about. And I think that's it for this episode. We read this, haven't we? No, we have a taxidermy log. White tailed uh, deer. Place of capture, Arkley Mountains. Length, weight. Pleased to know how it turned out. Uh, pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe it's time to move on to more challenging animals. Oh, yeah. Chief Iris is a real piece of shit, in case you haven't got that. Siberian tiger. Almost four years old. Place of capture, Khabarovsk Cray. I don't know where that is. I don't even that's the real place. I nearly came... <laughs> Shit. I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm gut spilled out. I still smell of wild beast. This is the life. Oof. Pig, female, 22 years old. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over, and it's all mine. Forever. What the shit? You will also remember the note we found. Uh, where the... Close to the explosive on the third floor. Uh, where the maiden statue was. Uh, apparently Chief Irons... He uh, kidnapped some of his own cops and uh, stashed in that room to torment them. Like waiting for them to cannibalize each other or something this dude is a real fuck up and he has sherry so we're not gonna let this situation last we're gonna get her back i know we barely know the girl but already i feel very responsible for her i'll see you next episode where we probably go after her but before that we have to go to the clock tower retrieve the parts get the key card get the door open before we can do anything else so look forward to that Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode.